everybody, it's Mario Fan 27 here from Mario Fan 27 Play, back for another episode of Super Mario World. In the last episode, we got through the first half of the special world, clearing out gnarly, tubular, way cool, and awesome. This episode, the last four stages of both the special zone and the game. Starting off with Groovy. So Mondo, it has it ha it's got five dragon points that like like all the levels coast awesome. And the thing is the water looks a little weird because Love seafood, but if you follow, you can actually see that it's a checkerboard pattern. I need to make the illusion of seafood. And I'm just gonna leave my Yoshi off here. I do not care about using a store coins because I have tried and there's just a super annoying flying hammer brother up here that I'd like to, to kill. And I also just hate how you get like no control whenever you have a store point open. And I want to kill him, and as you keep my one and only cape power up. And um, you can see that the water is rising and falling. So now, now it's rising. And now it's falling. And then pretty much just touch the cube cubes outside the water, they are gonna die. And I want to go ahead and kill that buddy again. Cause like, I don't even see why that enemy even exists. Cause he has no purpose in the game. I touched his head game, don't lie to me. Game, I'm not in a good mood. So now I want to get on. Of course, of freaking course. Not playing around, buddy. Thank you. Good day to you, sir. Alright. I'm creating with door points. So, so I hate this. That, I hate that, that part. Time has level one too bad. This is also the one thing which Cooper's actually walking on the water. Can I not jump off my uh, Yoshi game? So we have to go under there and get that dragon coin. I, and we have to, uh, I believe that we did miss a, a section that had a dragon coin. So I believe there's an underground, sec uh, underground section back, back here. I think it might have been that blue pipe. There we go, that's what it is. There I got like two dragon points. Got one, don't know where the second one is at. Right, Jack right. Right here at the end. I wanted to fire that at him, but they're glad he didn't hit me. Alright, the last dragon point heading here. Alright. Our last bonus game. 
that they were far more annoying than it should have been. Far more. Thank you, Hammer Brothers. Dang it. So that you have a pretty good game. I thought I could maybe have to get all of it. I don't. Well, I wish that I get to manipulate. Uh. Alright. Outrageous. Second to the last stage. Alright, I'm doing this post commentary. Outrageous. This level is a big pain. Which is why I'm doing this so out post commentary. First dragon point right there. Main gimmick with this level we got bullet bill, fire, locked up. And you got springs. You want to bounce over them. And this level is a big pain. It probably took me probably probably about 20, 20 to 30 minutes to try to get this ready. Try to get this good. And I know that there is a, a point in which I load a bunch of restore points. And this level is a big pain. Like right here I create a restore point. And you, in which I have to load to it quite a bit. Trying to get Yoshi back here. Fortunately, I don't get him back before he eats the, the spring. Have to get that one. Bounce over that those blocks. I had to load. I had to create another one. Thought that was loading. Create another one. Jump over it. And and I die a lot. A decent bit coming up here. Jump over this big pipe. Nothing in it. I create a lot of door points because I just got to the point in which I did not care. I wanted to beat it. That's why I didn't commentate. Got some more flying hammer bros things and they're really annoying. And this level actually continues a lot more beyond this. So I just random enemy coming out of blocks. A couple dragon coins. Here we got randomness with fire and goombas. And I just die and load the restore point back up. Back here with the hammer bro. Kill it and get, keep the cape. Alright, get on here and... And that guy's right here doing poke commentary on... This it feels weird to be doing poke commentary because I never do post. Making our restore point right here. I really, I rarely ever do poke commentary, so it feels weird too. Right, get my Yoshi back, lose him again, get, and then in the process of getting him back, lose Cape, and then get back and lose him. Then you slowly but surely try to eat everything. You can eat the fire, you can eat a lot of stuff with the Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi. I was hoping that'd be a power up, but it's not. It's just the Yoshi. Thankfully, they give you a Yoshi, so you gotta use this one up. Got another hammer, bro. Which is a huge pain, which is why it's a good time to restore a point. Kill him. Lose the Yoshi. Quickly get the Yoshi back before he goes into the pit. Try to jump, jump onto that block. Come on. Come on past me. Can you do this a little faster? Thank you. Alright. Need some more fire. Thankfully, I got past me, got a mushroom. And then... Got some more piranha plant stuff to deal with. And here's the end of the stage. One more dragon coin. You got another hammer, bro. Try to get on there. Come on, get on there. Alright, and the level exit is right up ahead. And there you go. I didn't even care that I, I didn't get any points. And there the end of Outrageous. Outrageously difficult level. Back to live commentary mode, time to enter the next, the last stage, Funky. Got Sumo Bro, don't kill him easily right there, get Yoshi back. And then we actually got a new mechanic right at the last stage, the... So I actually eat this, I wanted to eat that Koopa game. We actually got the green berry, which... I don't feel, actually know what the, is, what the point of them is. Oh, I know that the Koopa I'm really trying to get so I can fly. Run back after. I was trying to get down there and kill that guy game. Don't know what the point of that is, but they're trying to beat this level. One more level!
All right, that shell went off the cliff, but at this point, I don't care. Sorry if I'm if I'm not really commentating much. I want to beat this level and this and this thing. But I don't care. Fourth dragon coin. Give me that key. Another key. Alright, one up. Black dragon coin. You are... A super player. Now that there goes the last level. Final level in the game is beaten. And that takes us to another Star Wars War. Now don't load it. I think we reset. I believe that is all 96 exits. I believe we load that's all 96 exits. 96. At every exit in the game, all 96 of them. I'm gonna load back to the door point because because I don't think I ever mentioned it, but if you actually turn the game off, you start back with five lives, and that because you guys might be wondering how do I keep having that stay at 99 lives. Because I just load the, I, 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 all I do is just, I, I just use the restore points. I haven't actually, I pretty much put out at all. Now I take Star Wars Warp, I'll take it to you, just ha house an island, but things are a little different. So basically what this does is it get, changes our color palette to being a fall, uh, from more of a spring to a fall, a fall palette, color, color palette, in which the, the changing can, only way they can be reversed is deleting the file, which I'm not going to do that. But there are some differences in which I'm going to read this off, and that's like what the rest of this episode is going to be. Every, everywhere on everywhere on the on the actual island change of color, except the water. Every world change of color. So green objects become orange-brown, and brown places become green. All the, all the water remains the main color, same color. And, and it does not change the visual the visual appearances of the actual level themselves. It just changed the actual map. I believe of every map except the special area, the special zone. I think it make, does make the game look more prettier. Funny, Chocolate Island is super green, which is unlike how it would and which is like the opposite. Kind of funny to play on a green Chocolate Island. Even the Valley of Bowser itself changed. Yeah, and the special world changed, but this Star Wars itself did not. Well, the special world, special zone did not change. And you might think just going through the world again will will cha will change everything back to will change it back to. To spring or whatever it looked like before, it won't. It's just gonna take you back to fall. And there are some changes to the enemies in the game. Overall pouch, invert green to brown and brown to green. And then some enemies I want to show off and, you, and you're silent too. I see, I've still done this in some of the thumbnails. Yeah, Koopas look a lot different and their shells are now Mario heads. So it's pretty different. We're flying backwards. Yes. 
So, all right. And I don't know if there's anything else in this in this stage itself. But I might, I might, I'd like to show it off. It might be our favorite stage in the game, Outrageous. Because there's a lot of enemies here. Wiggly stay the same. Fire stay the same. But the ball bills, they're pigeons! They're pigeons, they're your pigeon bills. And, uh, ow. So now there's, they're pigeons. And, and the, and the jumping piranha plants are now pumpkin, jumping pumpkin plants. Pigeon bills. The, and that might be a, most of them. Alright, Bull Bills, Poke Segment, and this yeah, Mario Band 2. All green Mac Koopas, this shall become yellow, except for. Alright, so that's about it. So that can, that can be it for the LP. Although I was frustrated and. Very much so uh, with the with the last couple of episodes. I had a fun ride. I had a fun ride for this LP, and I'm glad I decided to do this and Mario Free as my first two LPs. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this LP. Thank you guys for watching and join back me next time for some other LP. I do not know what it is as this is being recorded in March. But I am glad that I, I got this recording project done so I can have content going out this summer. Thank you guys for watching, and join back you next time for yet another Let's Play series. See you guys then.